ratings. In this video, we are going to look at the method of invoking any deity as per the Shaiva Agamas. As we know, the Agamas are the application of the Vedas. They come under the Tantra component of Hinduism. The process of consecrating, invoking and establishing a deity can be split into three basic components as per the Shaiva Agamas. In fact, these three components are said to make up the entirety of the Shaiva Agamas. They are Asanam, Murti and Moolam. Let us look at the first component, the Asana. This refers to a seat. Now, before we invoke and call upon any deity, regardless of the purpose, be it during a Homa or even a Prana Pratishtha, we have to prepare a seat. The Shaiva Agamas elaborate on the deeper truths of the types of seeds which are interconnected with the five elements and various dimensions of the universe and various principles of the cosmos. The Agamas work fundamentally with mantras. And so, the basic way to establish the seed is to visualize and crystallize a seed using a related mantra. For example, to put it in a very simple way, let us say in a Ganapati Puja, we say Om Ganapati Asanaya Namaha. The breakdown is simply Om Ganapati Asanaya Namaha. Of course, there is more to the asana itself and asana puja itself can take more than an hour and it is a very elaborate process. For example, we have something called as the panchasana which has five dimensions, five layers within them. The next component, murti. This refers to form. We have to give form to the divine consciousness which lands on the asana which you have just prepared. Every deity has a form. A common example of this is when you mold turmeric into a ball and invoke Lord Ganapati into it. The adhered mantra would be in this example of a Ganapati Puja, Om Ganapati Murtaye Namaha, taking the example of Lord Ganesha. The third component, Moolam. This refers to root. Now, having prepared a seed, and given the deity a form, we have to energize and infuse life to that very form. This mulam, this component, is that which infuses life to the very form. We do this by meditating upon the deity and energizing the crystallized form with the mulam mantra. We can even use a mantra or recite a portion from the Vedas or Upanishads, which possibly reveal the form of the deity. This is the basic and simplest method to invoke any deity for whatsoever purpose. For example, the Mula Mantra which can infuse life to a, a deity. In this example in the Ganapati Puja would be simply Om Gang Ganapataye Namaha. So as said, the entirety of the Agamas can be capsuled into the mantras related to Asanam, Murti and Mulam. And the mantras of the Agamas can be simply referred to as the Samhita mantras, which is a composite of the Pancha Brahma mantras and the Anga mantras. Now, the significance of what we have seen in this video. In case of an elaborate Kriya, like a Homa, the very process of invocation of the deity takes enormous effort and time. The Asana Puja itself can be expanded to intricate details. But let us say you are doing a Sahasra Kalasha Abhisheka. Abhisheka using 1000 kalashas of energized water. 1000 kalashas which represent the deities, 1000 deities. You cannot be possibly spending an hour invoking the presence of a deity into every kalasha following every procedure of the Agamas. In such cases, we only apply the intricate procedure of to the main kalasha, the Pradhana kalasha and simply use the basic method which we saw in this video as described to consecrate the other 999 kalashas. So for example, we spend an hour to possibly consecrate the main kalasha to embody Lord Shiva and the remaining 999 kalashas, we literally just hold the Darbha Mushti and invoke by just saying Om Shivasanaya Namaha, Om Shiva Murtaye Namaha, Om Ham Haum Shivaya Namaha. This itself is a composite of the Asanam, Murti and Mulam. 
Also, the person conducting the ritual is of utmost importance. A seasoned Shivacharya who does his Shaiva Anushthana daily and maintains his spiritual discipline will definitely differ from a layman who does the ritual. The very effect of consecration or invocation greatly or perhaps only depends on this. Thank you for watching.